Well, Graham, it's a couple of days since the very enjoyable game at Portsmouth. Um, now you've had time to reflect. How do you um, look back at that game on um, on Tuesday at Fratton Park? Um, still the same. Still the same. I'm I'm, I'm okay. I'm 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 not bad at analysing there and then. Um, but I tend to I tend to go back over the DVDs and the videos uh, of the games. And actually, it was more probably uh, probably more pleasing on the DVD the following day than um, than, than than live. But yeah, I was I was pleased with it with a lot of things. There was a lot of positives, a lot of good play, a lot of uh, a lot of thought process had gone into what 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 we were doing, um, and the players uh, stuck to the game plan. They, Letter of the law, but again, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll go back to that uh, that 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 quality in the final tour. I just just thought we could have been better, and I just thought we could have uh, possibly punished them a little bit more. I just bumped into Johnson in the um in the car park. He he's the character that yes, it was a bad penalty, but if there's a penalty on Saturday, he'll be the one to step up and take it. That's if he's playing. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a bad penalty. I think is understatement. Uh, um, it was a shocker to be fair. But John always got a massive, massive heart. And like I said the other night, if if there was a third penalty in the game, John would have been up and taking it. He's got that character. He's he's, he's got that big game mentality. He's got that winning mentality. And uh, he's it's, that's exactly the type of characters uh, that 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 you want to build football clubs around. There was an ins- an unsavoury off the ball incident involving Tom Lockyer and James Vaughan. Um, am I right to say that the FA won't be taking any further action? Yes, they have decided that you can now punch players on the football pitch and get away with it. Four officials missed it at the time. Uh, the fourth official should see it because he's right down my eye line because I've seen it. And um, they, they've they've told us that they won't be taking any action against uh, what's going on. That's fine, that's fine. But once uh, once it's, I, I just hope we're not getting into uh, our setting a precedent that it's one rule for one. Um, they've already sent us down to, to, to Pompey on, on, on a date of Pompey's choice on Tuesday night rather than a preferred date. Um, so they're, they're, that's, a, that's another issue that we've had. But listen, they're all minor details. Um, but again, listen, we know that they're, they're going to bend over backwards for the big boys. Yeah, I mean, without um, getting anyone in a trade, um, it's one thing if the referees miss it, but having what, it's the video and then still no action, is that what disappoints you? It does, yeah, 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 it does. Um, because uh, I'm, I guarantee if it, was, uh, if it was one of our players, um, they, they would be taking action. But uh, look, that's the way it is, and that's that's what we're up against, and that uh, what what we have to go on. But every proper football fan up and down the country will view that, will see that, and will uh, will have their own their own uh, uh, mindset and thought process on it. And I guarantee you, every one of them will be thinking along the same lines as myself. How do you bottle up that performance on Tuesday and take it to the rem on Saturday? Because that's what we all want now, isn't it? A home performance like that. Well, I said it last week. Um, I said it last weekend. Uh, I'm going to say it again this weekend. The smell of big games. You can smell them. You can smell the big game in the air. You can smell big teams. You can smell uh, the, 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 the atmosphere that, that that's created and, that, and that's been building. And uh, I was lucky enough to play in a lot of big games over, over my career. Um, they're enjoyable. They're 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 they're, they're great occasions. That they're, they're what you train for. They're what you uh, you what you get promoted for. You want to be in the in the leagues, in the big leagues, playing against the big teams. I spoke about championship standards when uh, when I took over, and I speak about championship standards every day because ultimately that's that's uh, that's our target. That's our end goal. Um, now the players have brought them championship standards to the training, to the, to, to their day to day football club. And, uh, and and I believe they're bringing them to the games on Saturdays as well. The majority, of the, the majority of games. Uh, let, let me correct myself there. They are bringing them the, the, that appetite too. But I, I can smell the big games. I can smell the the, the big atmosphere. I can smell the big uh, the big occasions. And uh, I just get a sense of that over the last uh, the last week or two. And, and and that should continue from now to the end of the season. On um on, on Saturday it's going to be a near full house. I, I've lost count of the amount of players when they've signed for Rovers. They said as an opposition player, I never like playing at the Mem. And, and do you need that on Saturday, Sunderland to to come to the Mem, the fans to be noisy, and maybe you know if it doesn't go well the first ten minutes, just get behind the players on Saturday. Yeah, I was one of them myself. I, I, I wasn't the ground that I looked forward to coming to, so I know exactly what opposition players are thinking and what opposition players are saying. Um, it's 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 a, it's a great atmosphere. It's it's a hostile ground. Um, and it's got a lot of tradition, and it's 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 got a lot of history in it as well. To be fair, so uh, nobody should have it easy coming to to, to anybody's ground, particularly our ground. Um, like I said the other night, and I stand by what I say, I am the one that picks the team. I'm the one that asks them to go out. I'm the one that 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 that's responsible and accountable at the end of the day. Now, if our players don't turn up, if our players uh, uh, let us down, I will have no problem standing in the middle of the pitch and taking the blame and and and, and having people. 
come for me. Not a problem, not a problem. But let's give it a one big effort from now to the end of the season. Every home game we play, let's get behind the players. Now, there will be mistakes, there will be errors, there will be misplaced passes. Um, that happens, cheer the lads on. Give them a cheer, pick them up and get them ready for the next tackle, the next pass, the next the, 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 the next event in the game. At the end of the game, come for me. Don't, 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 not from one, not, not from minute one to minute 95. Don't come for anybody, but let's get together one big effort from the football club. Um, not only this game, but, but for, for the remainder of the season. Let's roll our sleeves up, sing our hearts out and give, give, give the club and the players what they, what they need, what they deserve. And basically what we all crave for, um, a great atmosphere, a great game and uh, a, 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 a big grandstand finish to the season. How do you assess Sunderland? They were involved in an entertaining game in the week and some familiar faces in their side as well. Sunderland are a team that will more than likely get promoted. Um, they're, they're, they're one of the bigger teams, the big, massive, massive tradition, massive fan base. Um, uh, again, they've, they've got big wallets. Um, so um, I, I guess Sunderland will, will, will have class all over the pitch. They'll have quality all over the pitch. Um, that, that's what you pay for. That's what you get in, 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 when you put your hand in your, your, your pocket. But uh, we're based on honesty, we're based on hard work, we're based on grafters. And, and, and if we can bring their game and, 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 and nullify their game, we may give ourselves a, a, a little chance. Um, sometimes tactics come into it, sometimes it doesn't. But I, I'm, just asking, I'm just asking the lads to go out and enjoy this, this period, enjoy the games against uh, the big opposition. Because we've proven, we have, we have proven, um, uh, even if we haven't been on the right end of results, but we've, we've been proven uh, this season that we can compete against the big boys. We can... We can nullify them. We we, we we can outplay them. We can outfight them. We've we've proven that this season. But yet again, the key and the be all is the end result. Any update on Alex Rodman since we spoke to you on Tuesday? Um, I've not, not at this moment in time. I'm I'm still not a hundred percent sure um, what uh, what what um, Alex is, is is up to. What he's what he's about. We hope it's not too long. We hope it's 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 uh, it's it's a short term. But um, here's here's hope and fingers crossed. Um, um, Rodgers. Um, Rodgers, Rodgers comes through it and he gets the, 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 the due care and attention and uh, and he's available to us in the not too distant future. Finally Saturday morning Graham are you going to have a shave and comb your hair just in case you make a starring appearance on Sunderland's Netflix documentary? No not really <laughs> <laughs> I don't think a shave and uh, combing my hair will make much difference to my appearance I am what I am and uh, yeah, that's the way I am to be honest. <laughs> we wish you well on Saturday thank Tell you. Man, thanks very much.